Hi! Thanks for tuning in to Terribly Accurate. So lately it's been a little bit strange um, the way that I've been doing readings. I've been getting called to do different ones. I think you saw earlier in the month I was called to do money readings on Patreon. I was called to do um, a reading with all of my purple decks for the third eye chakra. Um, so right now um, what I did was I got all of my angel cards together. It was time to do an angel reading and so I hope you enjoy this. Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, I pulled out the angel cards from my decks and when I did this, um, each angel card from the deck that I have is associated to a specific element. Now, your element is Earth and you have Ur Uriel here, okay? Now, um, that blue flame is like that fiery love for humanity and when people see a rainbow, they often um, thank Uriel. They say that he is responsible for the weather. Now, um, the weather of your life, <laughs> um, I'm going to think that this is mostly about material goods, you know, the tangible day-to-day -day because it is an earth sign. Now, most signs this month um, had cards drawn for emotions, but maybe your focus needs to be on the day-to-day, -day, on the tangible goods, okay? Now, with this guy here, um, it says that you're holding back in some area of your life. So maybe you are afraid. Um, you know, to go after what it is that you want. Or maybe you're not putting all of your um, best work or hardest work out there in your career. Um, it says that your challenge is to really look at your situation carefully. And you see how he has a book here? Now, books are um, to document things, to keep records. So look at the past and what worked for you so that you can figure out what's going to work for you in the future, okay? Now, there is an element here, like with that blue flame and then with the rainbow, about doing things for the highest good of others. So maybe it's to really think about, like, is what I'm doing, is where my focus is, is um, wherever I'm holding back preventing me from really sharing my talent or my love with the world. Like maybe I have something to offer that I'm not going out there and doing. Perhaps you're intuitive and you should be giving readings. Um, perhaps you um, have been called to be like a Reiki healer or something like that. Like you have a potential to unlock and share with the world. Now, um, it says that you're probably just underestimating yourself and your abilities, that you need to have more confidence. And so you can ask Uriel for help, as well as any of the other angels. It's their job to help you. It's seriously as thinking, as, as simple as thinking the thought, like, hey, Uriel, can you help me out? <laughs> um, and so it says, like, just aim higher, you know, dream bigger. It's that whole law of attraction thing. Like, why would you... Um, aim low when possibilities are limitless. Does that make sense? Sure, maybe it takes longer to manifest like really big lofty dreams, but they will come to you, right? As long as you're in the right frame of mind. So it's like, do your work um, one step at a time. Now, the next card that I got um, was forgiveness from my other angel deck. And so it's like, forgive yourself for maybe not taking action sooner, for maybe not always um, going at 110%. You're human. You can't do that. Call on your angels to help you. Um, maybe forgiving others for not fully um, acknowledging your worth in the workplace or for, you know, purchasing that $600 handbag when you have an electricity bill to pay instead because you wanted it. All right, that's where we're at with this one. So I hope you found this angel reading helpful. And um, as always, um, personal readings are going to be the most accurate. This is for all cancers for the month of March. And then um, if you would like, you know, a daily reading kind of a thing for a smaller group of individuals than your sign, um, those are over on the Patreon site. So every link is below. All right, love and light. See you. Bye. Thank you.